Good morning, everybody. This is Leo Vallant, your YouTube Messiah. And I got a, a, a comment this morning. It was from David from the video, The Price the Left Must Pay for Peace. Yeah, as David, he was, it's, where did you go, Leo? Yeah, it's, I haven't posted in a few days, and uh, I was wondering if anybody was going to miss me. Um, remember the book? It's, I'm writing the book that will heal America. It's Destinies for the Daring. You see, ah, uh, the book was coming along fine, but then it got even better. What I decided to do is, it's, I added to the past by, you know, flashing back. My, um, Miss Betty character was just too darn important. So I actually added a generation. It's it's uh, it's either a new first chapter or it's a prologue where I go into the origin story of Miss Betty, who is um she's like the fourth generation voodoo queen of New Orleans, but it's for the destiny of the world. She had to sort of just leave New Orleans and take up a, well, you'll read the book, but Miss Betty is very important. So her, she was mentored by a very enlightened queen of voodoo. It's like, I lift up voodoo. It's no one's biting. It's... My voodoo characters are no longer biting the heads off of live chickens. It's, they've evolved. It's, they etherealized. It's voodoo's not so creepy in my book. But I had that. It's, I, I create this character here, Danielle Devereaux. It's, she's like the saint of voodoo. And she's, she mentors Miss Betty. And Miss Betty will, she will save the world with, um, by being able to manipulate people with voodoo in order to conform to a destiny where the world <laughs> survives. And so that was the before. And so that gives me a far richer Miss Betty to deal with. It's, then there's the future. It's before the book just sort of, ends and everyone goes oh i guess the world gets saved well i went well shit let's just keep going and save the friggin world how many chapters will that take but it's i have this concept called synchronicity looping where under certain conditions and i lay them out it's i really create a universe in this book but it's there's some characters that know the future. There's some characters that know the past. And because of this knowledge, it's I have to go through the book and it's they have to know what they know when they know it. And so a lot of this stuff has to get changed and it's been a lot of fun. It's it's when you're writing it's you can tell it's oh man it's you're just going through the jungle with a machete trying to just get through and try to get everything straight but then after you're working on a chapter for like a day or two it, this smile creeps on my face i mean okay smiles are good because smiles mean that yeah it's i'm on something that's interesting it's making me smile it's it's I laugh, I cry. But anyway, it's I still I still read the news in the morning. I still look over YouTube just to make sure nothing's going universally viral. You know, it's the clickbait bandwagon. It's, you know, I'm, I haven't gone crazy. <laughs> if anything really happens, I'll do a video. In fact, it's someone just wrote to me and they said that, Monogamy is proven worldwide to be successful, and that's it. It's like I don't understand people. It's how can you just write a fucking assertion like that and not support it? It's it's like they leave it on me. 
is, yeah, I'm the scholar, I'm the intellectual, I'm the historian, I'm the philosopher. And so people dump this shit on me, and I have to explain, okay, this is where you're right. This is where you're, you haven't been thinking. It's, yeah, you're right about this, but you know it's only because about, of that. But we can deal with that some other way. We don't have to deal with it by restricting the number of women that guys can have. You know, Isn't like, wow, thing? what a bummer. But anyway, hey, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, let me get back to work on my book. Thank you, David. Thank you, everybody. It's, yeah, I'll write something once in a while. Thank you. Thank you for thinking of me.